So back in uh, 17 or 18, I needed a GPU for a workbench PC, and I didn't feel like waiting for you know for it to be delivered, so I just ran out to Best Buy, and I picked this up. It's a GeForce GT 1030 with two gigs of GDDR5 RAM, and I've had a pretty good experience with it. But while I was at the store, I noticed this one sitting next to it. Now, not this exact one, it was the same model, and this is a Radeon RX 550. They were the same price, within a few dollars, and I mean literally a few dollars of each other. The difference was, this came with four gigs of GDDR5, instead of two. And I wondered how they stood up next to each other. So you might be asking, if this has got four gigs and this has got two gigs, and they cost the same, why the hell did you get the two gig card? And that's a good question. I think at the time, um, I was more confident in uh, the GeForce is actually working with this software that I was using. I wasn't 100% sure on these, and I just needed to buy it and get out of the store, so I went with this. And yeah, it worked. Now the 1030 and the 550 were actually released within a few months of each other in the beginning of 2017. Now the 550 has far more shading units and TMUs than the 1030 does, and the 550 can actually uh, encode and decode video, whereas the 1030 can only do decoding. So yeah, looking back on it, probably should have gone with this. Let's put them side by side and see how they do. So unlike before, if you remember the first version of this video that I took down, the 550 now has quite a lead on the 1030. In heaven, both have similar minimums and the 550 maxes out nearly 20 FPS higher. The 550 also, as you can see, is able to hold a higher average frame rate over the 1030 by about 25 FPS. In superposition, the 1030 has about a 20 FPS max lead on the 550. However, when all is said and done, they averaged about the same, with the 1030 averaging only about 2 FPS higher. With Unreal Tournament 3, the 1030 had far smoother and more consistent frame times, but at this frame rate, I don't really think it matters. And when all was said and done, the 550 averaged about 16 FPS on average higher than the 1030. Now, as you can see in Fallout New Vegas, they really performed about the same. In the previous video that I took down, I mentioned that there was a lot of uh, frame stutters on the 550. However, this time around, I didn't really notice that at all. But regardless, the 550 technically pulled ahead, but barely. I'm including RAF since I included it in a few other videos. Last time the GPU usage was maxed out on each and the frame rates were low. This time the frame rates were a bit better, but still not great. Although not bad for what these you know cards actually are. However, the GPU usage isn't maxed out, sometimes showing zero to 50%. So I'm not really sure where that bottleneck is or if that's just the MSI Afterburner's HUD flaking out. I ran the Crisis benchmark and the 550 averaged 76 FPS which is 11 FPS higher than the 1030's result. Now, BeamNG, I'm impressed that these not only ran this game, but how well they did so, you know, all things considered. Both GPUs seemed maxed out, but the 550 averaged about 40 FPS, while the 1030 averaged about 33. Now, either one of them is more than playable, but the 550 obviously came out ahead. And of course, Portal 2 as usual, and the 1030 actually pulled ahead by a few FPS here. In GTA San Andreas, well, it's an older game and both did absolutely fine. But if you want to get technical about it, the 1030 pulled ahead by 2 FPS. Now, I don't know why the HUD shows 100% CPU usage. It wasn't at 100%. It wasn't until I rebooted that that went away, but I forgot to recapture this footage. So, regardless, the 550 pulled ahead on all runs and averaged a 16 FPS lead. Both felt fine to play, but the 550 felt smoother. Also, I noticed by default, to me, the 550 appeared sharper in some scenes with better contrast. And I've noticed that across a few, other, you know, a few of the other games as well. In GTA 5, they performed about the same, but once again, the 550 felt smoother and more responsive. As usual, here's the final scene from the in-game benchmark, and I'll let that play.
So overclocking. I ran them up as far as I could get them to run. The GeForce already has a higher clock speed as it boosts over 1700 megahertz, but I was able to bring it up to around 2000 megahertz. The 550 I got to 1365 and that was it. I think one of the problems is power. It's relying on the slot power and I have a feeling the 550 is maxing it out at its stock speeds anyway. So here's just a few examples, like Raft. On the 1030, the overclock increased the FPS by about three, while only about one FPS for the 550. But here, the 550 was already ahead of the 1030, where its stock speeds were higher than the 1030's overclock speeds. In BeamNG, the 550 won them all. But you can see the overclock helped both. You'll notice the 1030 while overclock still couldn't even touch the base speeds of the stock 550. In the Crisis benchmark, before overclocking, there was about a 10 FPS gap between the two. And after, well, it's still about a 10 FPS gap. But regardless, the 550 pulled ahead of them all. Even the overclock 1030 was just shy of matching the stock 550's averages. Now, I pulled results using a G4 1650 with the same CPU and added them to the graphs as a comparison. But you can see that on average, the 550 won most of these tests. I found later after I purchased the 1030 was that it had no NVENC and only had hardware video decoding. Whereas the 550, well, it's got VCN, so that one wins. So it would be your call, but for the same price, if I had to do it all over again, I'd have picked up the 550 without question. Yes, the 1030 runs cooler, and the NVIDIA drivers are much less buggy. Well, on Windows anyway. Linux, that's a whole other story with NVIDIA. I'm not going to go there right now. But yeah, for an older Windows PC, I think the 550 would have been a better bet. But what do you think? If you're still here, thanks for, your, for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.